Thanks for watching. Today's video launches a new devotion series on the book of Psalms that I am calling Christ in the Psalms. Jesus himself not only prayed and sang these psalms as a Jewish man, he would have been intimately familiar with them and, and learned and memorized many of them, but the psalms, of course, were written by him or inspired by him and are also all about him. Jesus himself tells us this in Luke 24, after he appears to his disciples after his resurrection. He opens their minds to understand the scriptures and he says, everything written about me in the, in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. In, in other words, everything in the Old Testament is really about Jesus and points to him. So as we go through these psalms and these devotions, uh, the question that we will ask time and time again is, where is Jesus in this psalm? And we'll have the Holy Spirit open our eyes to see him. Now, uh, this devotion series will be similar to the ones that I've done before. Uh, I'll have you read the passage of the day, one of the Psalms. Uh, then we'll have the word of the day, which introduces the, the theme that the devotion is centered on. Uh, we'll also have a question of the day for you to consider and think about, uh, say a prayer, and then have a song to sing at the end. So without further ado, let's jump into it. We are uh, going to start with Psalm 1. I'm not going to go in order, however. I'm going to jump around to various psalms, whichever ones that I, I feel like doing. And, and you can go ahead and, and make a request as to what psalm that you would like me to cover. But we are starting with Psalm 1 because it serves as an introduction to the rest of the book. Uh, psalm 1 was not the first psalm written. Okay, They don't go in chronological order. Rather, when the Hebrews put the book of Psalms together, uh, they chose Psalm 1 to be the very first one because it does serve as, as an entryway into understanding the rest of the Psalms. So go ahead and choose someone in your family to read out loud Psalm 1. I'm going to jump right into the word of the day for today, which is the very first word in this psalm, in the whole book of Psalms, blessed. Blessed is the man. It describes the, the happy condition of a certain person. Why and how is this man uh, blessed? First of all, because of what he does not do. He does not walk in the counsel of the wicked he does not stand in the way of sinners. He does not sit in the seat of scoffers. In other words, uh, he does not allow himself to be influenced by evildoers and by temptation. Rather, his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law, he meditates day and night. That's what makes him blessed. And what is the other result? Because of his meditation and delight, He's like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in season. Its leaf does not wither. All that he does, he prospers. So who is this blessed man? Well, first of all, we have to admit that it's not you or me. I certainly do not delight in God's law all of the time. In fact, I often resist and rebel against it and follow in the ways of the wicked and give in to temptation. I have more in common with the sinner and the wicked that is described here. And if you're honest with yourself, you will admit that you do too. That's what this psalm should do to us first. It holds up the, the mirror of God's law. And so when we look into it, we see how we have fallen short of the blessedness that is described here. So who is this blessed man who fulfills Psalm 1? It's Jesus. He does it all, everything that is described here. His only desire was to do the will of God. 
on God's law, on God's word. He meditated day and night. He, he prayed and communicated with God and desired to, to only do what God would have him do and never went astray, even when he was tempted by the wicked. Jesus is the blessed man, and in everything he did, he prospered. But then he took the place of the wicked in the judgment hall, the righteous for the unrighteous, so that in him and through faith we might be blessed. It is only in Jesus that we can be the man described in Psalm 1. And when we are rooted or planted in him, in the living water, then we will bear abundant fruit. Our leaf will not wither and we will be counted as righteous and be able to delight in doing the will of God. My question for you today is this. How can you meditate on God's law, on his word, day and night, as it is described here, even as you are doing other things? It obviously doesn't mean that you should only be uh, reading the Bible all day long. But no, as you go about your daily life, how can you also be meditating on God's will and word? Go ahead and pause the video and take a moment to discuss that and answer that. Will you pray with me? Dear Lord Jesus, blessed are you. You delighted in doing God's law and you also delighted in saving me, even though it meant giving up your own life. Now I am righteous because you have given your righteousness to me. Now I am blessed because I am in you. Help me to delight in doing your will each and every day. In your name we pray. Amen. For your hymn or song of the day, I want you to go ahead and choose one on your own. It can be from the hymnal. It can be a, a favorite song of yours that, that maybe you can look it up online and, and sing along with it. Mr. Polish is, is away right now, taking some vacation time. Uh, and so uh, this one's up to you. Uh, you're on your own, but I encourage you to, to go ahead and, and do that because singing is one of the ways that we can continue to meditate on God's will and word all day long. Until next time, God's grace and peace be with you.